Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am at the entrance of a national park called as Nidmilib National Park which is in a small town called Catherine in Northern Territory, Australia. This national park is one of the tourist spots in Catherine and there are several hiking tracks, camping grounds and caravan parks. Today, I am going to do hiking along one of the tracks here and I am going to take you all in my journey. I hope you guys will like this one. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. And without further delay, let's start our adventure. This is the car park of this national park, guys. Now I am going to the visitor center to collect some information about this park and tracks available here. Look at this map here guys. It shows the tracks and other places in this national park. You can see different tracks here. Each one of them are in different length and it takes different times to finish each one of them. There are totally 8 tracks here and 3 of them are taking nearly 2-3 to three days to complete and others are like within 1 day. Barrowway walk is the shortest one, it is 1.8 kilometers and it takes around 1 hour to finish. The longest one is Jawain Valley, it's right at the bottom, it is 39 kilometers and it takes around 2-3 to three days guys. Alright guys, I'm going to do the wind off walk today. It is 8.4 kilometers up and down and it will take around 3.5 hours. Let's see what are the places we can explore and see during this hike. All those walks are shown just here in this map. You can see another map here guys. This one looks like a 3D map. The legend in this map clearly shows what are the important places and facilities available here. This is the visitor center guys. There are a few people here and you can see there is also a cafe in this place. I am going to get some information about the track I am going to go today and cut you all soon. Alright guys, I got some information about the track I am going today. I have got a map and I hope it will be helpful for my journey. These are the things I am going to carry with me today. I brought a couple of water bottles as it is so hot today some food for my lunch and the map I got from the visitor center. Now let's start our hiking guys. You can see the yellow color arrow guys. It indicates the path we need to go. In this national park there are different tracks and each one of them are indicated in different color arrow. You can see the sign of campground. The campground of Nidbilug National Park is situated just there. You can see few people are camped here and some of them are with their caravans.
Now you can see the terrain of the path we are going is changing. Steep slope ahead of us and just need to be careful while we climb up. You can see there are a lot of rocks in this place and there is a separate track going in different direction. We need to go in that direction. What we need to be careful about is going in the correct track guys. That's why I got the map and following that one. If you go in a wrong track and if it is a two day or three day track then you will end up in the middle of bush without food and water. There are stories like that and few people who lost were rescued by the rangers here. Now you can see two arrows with different color guys. That means there are two different tracks ahead of us. One is yellow and the other one is blue. Now you can see the path is dividing into two guys. I need to go in this direction and we need to go in this direction for all the southern walks. You can see where we are standing now in this map. I am here and I need to go through this path to reach the southern rock hall. When I reach there, there is a lookout point and we can have a view of this beautiful Catherine River and then we can come along this path. You can see how the southern rock waterfall looks like during the wet season. Now it is dry season and let's go and see how it looks like now. See this path guys. It is in yellow color and was indicated by yellow arrows. And now the path I am going to go is blue color and then green. Now I am at an open space guys. You can see small plants, shrubs and there are some rocks too. This place looks dry as there was no rain for last 5 to 6 months and when it starts raining there will be more grass and plants here. You can see there are small palm trees and rocks in different colors and textures. Some are in grey color, some are in brown color and some are in pink color. Alright guys, now I am at a junction and there are two paths ahead of us. There is a walk called Yambi and we need to go straight for that one. I am doing the window of walk and I need to go in left direction. You can see there is a water tank here on our way and we can have some water if we want. Now our path color is changing from blue to green and I need to look for green arrows. Look at this rock guys. I'm going to climb over this one and let's look around. The terrain of this place has a lot of rocks and small shrubs. I'm just following the green arrow guys. I don't see any people yet on my way. I would say there are a lot of wildlife animals like kangaroos, wallabies, snakes, guyanas and etc here. Australia is home for most venomous snakes in the world. We need to be mindful of them when we go into the bush. I don't see any big trees here. The trees here are thin and not so big. I reckon it is because of the soil nature here. The soil here is not so fertile and contains a lot of rocks.
Now I am on the top of hill guys. You can see the mountain range from here. We got some good breeze today. It feels so good. Now I am going to go in this path. I reckon I have completed 40% of the hike guys. There is 0.5 km more to reach the Southern Rock Hall. Before going to the Southern Rock Hall, I am going to take some rest in that shelter there. There is another map here guys. Now I am here. I am on my way to this place. I am going to go there and after that I am going to go this place called as Pets Lookout. You can also see some more details about the walks here on the bottom. The easy trail is indicated in the green color. The path I came is yellow and blue. You can see that is a more difficult trail. Guys, I made a sandwich and brought for my lunch. I don't think that is a sandwich anymore. Anyway, let's have that one now. I have got some cheese, tomatoes, tuna, lettuce and ham inside the sandwich. I'm hungry now and let's have this now. Alright guys, lunch finished. I'm on my way to the Southern Rock Hall. This path looks like a rough one with a lot of rocks on it. You can see an orange colored arrow. This path for Southern Rock Hall is an orange colored one. There are a lot of rocks on my way. I need to be careful where I land unless I might sprain and hurt my ankle. Wow guys, you can see a valley here. It's going deep downside. It's a bit difficult to find the path guys and the arrows are here and there. I need to just follow the direction from them. I can see another arrow right there. I can feel a very good breeze here guys. I reckon you can sense that from the movement of the grasses. You can see this amazing look when I am on my way down through these stairs guys. I am down here now guys. This path looks very bushy. Anyway, let's keep walking. Guys, you can see a lot of rocks behind me. I need to climb them all and go to the waterfall now. It is going to be interesting. Alright guys, finally now I am here at the waterfalls. I will show you that Southern Rock Hall waterfall. This is the waterfall guys, but there is not much water in here. As it is not raining for a long time, there is no water flow, but still there is some water. Let's go near and have a look.
there are a lot of rocks around this waterfall guys I came in that path and now there is no one here This is the waterfall guys and you can see some amount of water on the bottom Look at here guys, there are a lot of butterflies flying around this rock Alright guys, now I am going to the riverbank just a few minutes away from this place I came along that path guys and when I pass this sand dune we can see a beautiful view of the riverbank Wow guys look at this view it's just amazing This place just looks amazing for a swim but this is territory guys and crocodiles everywhere so better stay out of water other than the places which are permitted for swimming Alrighty guys, now I am going to climb up and go back to the window of walk. Let's go. Alright guys, I climbed up and I am at the place where I had my lunch. The next place I am going to go is Pat's Lookout. It is not very far from here. Let's go there. See in the map, there is the place Pat's Lookout. Wow guys, this is the place. Look at the view of this Catherine River from the top. It's just incredible. You can see the mountain ranges on the both sides and the white green river running in the middle it is so so beautiful guys hey guys i brought a chocolate cake today and i'm going to have this one from this pets lookout as you see guys you can see a cruise there there are cruises operating in this catherine river you can check out that in the Nitmuluk National Park official website. I will leave the link in the description below. Alright guys, now we are going to the Waleka Walk. It is green around now. Guys, you can see the time now. It is 12 past 12 and you can see the sun, it is right on the top. You can see another view from here guys. You can see few kayaks and couple of cruises there. There are facilities to do kayaking too in this river guys. In this path, the green arrows are not so clear and most of them are just hanging on trees pointing on some random direction.
Look at these rocks guys. They are in different kind of texture and interesting. At some point, they installed the arrows on the ground, guys. I couldn't find any arrows for a long time, guys. Hope I am on the right path. All you can see here are rocks bush and small trees. We can't find any big trees or shade to take some rest. At last I could able to find some shade to take some rest guys. Let's figure out where I am and keep going. I would say I'm just somewhere here within this 1.7 kilometer guys. But I feel like I walked more than 1.7 kilometers. I need to go through this green path to the blue one and then I can reach this junction where the water tank was. When you look at the far, you can see few people doing the long trails with their camping gears and trekking poles. There are a couple of paths opposite to me guys. There are no arrows or nothing. I would say I better keep left and keep going. Whew. At last, I can see a signboard, guys. I reckon you can also see that there. Let's go there and have a closer look. Perfect guys, I am here and I need to walk along this path to go to the water tank junction. First few distance with orange arrows and then blue after that one. Alright guys, the orange track is done. I need to go along this path and go to this junction here. After that, I can walk through this yellow path and go to the visitor center. You can see this path is wide and clear. This place is shady and you can see few pandanus trees on both sides. You can also see this place is sandy. Wow, good breeze here guys. It feels so good when you go on hiking and have breeze like this. Now we came along this path and came to this junction guys. You can see that is the path we went previously. We went around in that direction and came through this path here. You can also see a map here. We are right here now. We went along this path, went to the southern rock hole, Pat's lookout, came along this path, came past the Butterfly George Junction, came through this Yambi Walk and now we are here. Now I am going through this and go to the visitor center. 
All right, guys. Now I came to the junction where all the southern walks start. I am right here. I need to go along this path. You can clearly see the view of Southern Rock Hall during the wet season. Alright guys, I came to the final part of my journey and I am approaching the visitor center. I completed nearly 15 kilometers today and it took me around 5 hours to complete. That's it guys. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another beautiful video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.